in the previous uh, video clip uh, looking at gamma um, go to the uh, link where the file is uh, available on the OneDrive download open and enable editing enable content and same problem as before so let's go back and just rerun escape let's just take out these values delete and then just rerun so go to the data tab what if analysis data table and in the column uh, make the reference back to the original parameter input for the asset price click OK and we can see uh, we get the same representations as before for gamma and delta and in the previous video we outlined how the gamma represented uh, the derivative of the delta in other words the slope of the delta so here we have slope of zero gamma zero slope of the delta here is approximately zero gamma is close to zero increasing at an increasing rate increasing at a decreasing rate the break point seems to be slightly less than 100 and we find that the contours here are matched by gamma so delta <coughs> the delta here uh, is being used and the gamma is being used uh, in a manner to describe the how the value of the option changes with respect to changes in the underlying delta is the first derivative mathematical derivative and gamma is the second mathematical derivative in that relationship um, previously we had looked at um, delta analytic delta numerical uh, here, here uh, make the same kind of analysis. Uh, so we can, okay, um, let's take out what we have here. So just delete and remove, delete, delete, delete and rerun the gamma so we could think of the gamma again as the range of stock prices as being 10 20 all the way down to 200 and we could say let's run the gamma and this time it's going to be based on the analytic formula analytic formula where do we get it from it's wikipedia so come down to the formulas so we're using uh, the gamma and it's the same for the call and the put and we can verify that in the spreadsheet gamma and put have the same magnitude okay so um we want to take uh, the we have take the value here for uh, gamma and then take generate a data table so um, let's do go to the data tab what if analysis data table take the column because it's this range of values uh, the reference to the uh, underlying asset price we hit OK fills in now generating to generate um, the uh, numerical gamma okay we should first of all get the Delta uh, analytical Delta as well and let's set up a similar type of um, 
construction as before and generate regenerate the delta table again looking at both variables so data tab what if analysis data table with the column go back to the reference to the asset price and now we it fills in again and if we go to um, so that was generated by the analytical formulas which are based on black shoals but we could also use numerical values so if we go back to look at gamma gamma is so we have gamma here as being the second derivative in other words we differentiated the delta with respect to the stock price the change in the value of the delta with respect to a change in the value of the stock okay so let's try this again we start at the middle value of 20 and we say let's look at this the higher equal to the higher value so open brackets the higher value for the delta minus the lower value for the delta centered around 20 and we're saying the higher value of the stock minus the lower value of the stock and close and let's pull it down and take the shape and go to the second last cell and uh, there's some correspondence in the values so zero zero and these range of values here close to zero but then increase and let's say okay gamma numerical um, and did I put that in? No. so it's a gamma numerical value and we can just well we can put these values in um, let's go a little bit across and Okay, say equals so we're setting up a parallel table just for the purposes of making uh, graphing a little bit more easier to um, set up and we pull it down and we typically are not interested in this one or this one and it's gamma and it's analytic and we have the delta and we have gamma numerical and when we compare these values what we find well let's do a graph and it can be done very quickly just scatter and let's remove the delta the delta has its usual familiar shape so just let's remove and you'll see that the axis here on the left will rescale so delete out and then we get the gamma analytic and gamma numerical and they're quite similar but not exactly not exactly similar could we improve on the accuracy of the numerical gamma well one possibility here would be to move this just slightly and um, focus maybe at the 90 where there seems to be the biggest divergence between the two and go to so for purposes of improving visibility we look at um, highlighting in yellow and comparing the numerical gamma against the analytical gamma and then change the uh, for this cell here notice that the stock price is uh, based around the 90 and we're considering a difference of 20 if we somehow could squeeze the change in the asset price to be something smaller would we get an improvement or a convergence towards this value here so one possibility is 89.99 a one cent difference and then um, 
90.01 again a one cent difference and if we look here we should observe some improvement in the correspondence between the two values so hit return and we can see here yes it does uh, change although we get a very weird shape here but that's because of this but the uh, analytical formula and in numerical formula uh, come closer together so this one doesn't change but this one changes and becomes closer and if we keep moving this 9 9 and 0 would it be 0 0 again it would get closer again 8 2 8 1 9 7 4 8 so uh, as we make the change in the stock price smaller and smaller or as we make the change in the um, asset price smaller and smaller the numerical gamma will become closer to the analytical gamma.